Well, looks like Arvind Kejriwal is trying to play down the cracks in the Aam Aadmi Party on the second day of AAP's national executive meeting. Here's a report. Yogendra Yadav is a very dear friend. After the much-talked-about high drama over Yogendra Yadav attacking Kejriwal, Kejriwal tried to iron out the differences. Yogendra Yadav is a dear friend and a very valued colleague. Had a long discussion with him. Yogi Yadav has raised some important issues. All of us will work on it. Attempts to bring Shazia Ilmi back. He also expressed his thoughts of bringing back Shazia Ilmi, who gave a resignation last month, accusing AAP of being run by a crony clique who takes impulsive decisions. The irony here is that the party has asked Anjali Dhamaniya to bring Shazia Ilmi back, who herself resigned from the party because of the internal negativity and later took a U-turn. Before the Delhi elections, the party is trying to get it together by downplaying the rift between the top leaders by calling it a difference of opinion and that it will be sorted. जो सर्वोच्च लीडर है उसको कोई चुनौती दी है ना कोई ऐसी बात है तो उन्होंने अपने विचार रखे उन्होंने अपने वचन एक पत्र में बार आपस में उनका हुआ है तो उसको कोई अंतरक्लय की बात हम मानते नहीं हैं तो ये इतने मैं जरूर कह सकता हूं कि सारा मामला जल्दी सुलझा लिया जाएगा the cracks in AAP are deepening, with top leaders fighting it out in the public and party workers showing discontentment towards the functioning of the party. With all the top leaders present at the party meeting, both Yogi Indriyadav and Naveen Jehind's resignations were rejected and the focus was given to the upcoming Delhi elections and on the organizational restructuring of the party. It was speculated that Kumar Vishwas had skipped the party meeting, but he later tweeted that his absence was due to high fever and media should not guess anything other than that. A News 9 report. Well, trouble seems to be far from ending for the Aam Aadmi Party. The group of dissenters seem to have big plans for themselves in the future. Take a look as to what we're talking about. Not so arm trouble for AAP. The saying, when the going gets tough, the tough get going, doesn't seem to hold good in the case of the Arvind Kejriwal-led Aam Aadmi Party. The chorus of dissent within the rank and file of the newbie party seems to be growing louder by the day. After some founder members and better known faces of AAP, including Shazia Ilmi and Captain Gopinath, decided to part ways, the dissenters seem to have a plan B on their minds. Another Mango Man party in the making. Well, this is a big question doing the rounds in political circles. It is learned the tribal leaders of AAP will hold open zonal sessions in Nama Bengaluru on June 13th to discuss what lies ahead. Speculations are right that the former AAP leaders are joining hands to ensure a roadblock for Arvind Kejriwal's party by floating one of their own. The meeting is likely to be attended by founder members Shazia Ilmi, Madhu Bhaduri, Ashok Agarwal and former National Council member Ashwini Upadhyay. The former AAP top brass will hold a key three-day session lasting till June 15th. The participants are expected to voice their opinion against AAP and discuss the practicability of a possible parallel movement. The rebel leaders are also said to have consulted their former mentor during the IAC movement, Anna Hazare. The social activist is said to have advised them to launch a new non-political movement with the core focus on various reforms. Following his suggestion, the members are expected to take a final call on launching a fresh non-political movement or form a new political party. The group also plans to submit a memorandum to the PMO over various issues such as education reforms, health reforms, reservation, police reforms, electoral reforms and judicial reforms. The members of the New Front have also launched an online campaign involving close to 11,000 LS ticket aspirants from their former party. A questionnaire has been sent out seeking their opinion on the road ahead. Further, invitations to join the open session which will be held at the Art of Living Centre in Bengaluru have also been extended to them. Bengaluru to be the epicentre of new movement. From the looks of it, Nama City might be the hotbed of the parallel movement. After the rout in the recently concluded Lok Sabha polls, voices of dissent have been heard in many units of AAP in North India. Now, 
Bengaluru too seems to be joining the chorus. With a new parallel force in the making, trouble still seems to be brewing for Kejriwal and his fellow Aam Aadmi's. Despite claims of the new front taking shape as a non-political organization, political aspirations of the top leadership cannot be ruled out considering their experience in the Lok Sabha polls. So, will the new clique block the road for AAP, which already seems to be in a soup? Only time will tell. A new Snan report. Moving on, a potential death blow was delivered today to the already tainted image of the country when it comes to women's safety. Jaipur is at the epicenter of an incident of rape. Here's a report. A nation still reeling from the Badayu gang rape shocker today received yet another jolt. A 21-year-old Malaysian tourist has filed a complaint at the Jawahar Circle police station in Jaipur alleging that she was raped by a 30-year-old resident of Bhilwadi. The accused is said to be a tour guide. In her complaint, the victim stated that she had arrived in Jaipur on a business trip and had befriended the accused at a casual meeting. She added that the accused took her to a five-star hotel for dinner on Thursday. After the dinner, she alleges that the accused drove her to a desolate place, drugged her and then raped her. He is then said to have dropped her off at a hotel. But the accused has a different story to tell. I have been just victimized, nothing else. I went to my, I am a management consultant. I am a professor from the last 10 years now. And uh, she met me because of a website consult, uh, for website consulting. And she gave us uh, different proposals as well and asked us to, to be a partner for India. And for that regards, we met him for uh, another two days as well. And uh, while going, to, uh, going back, she uh, uh, gave us this, uh, this, uh, this as we have raped her. So this is not done. And uh, all the, uh, I am ready for all the tests and whatever the things are possible. Uh, this could be anything. No, she may be, uh, she may be looking for money from us. It could be anything. Reactions to the horrific incident are pouring in from all over the country. Some activists claim that it is high time stringent action is taken to prevent such acts in future. Now this is this alleged incident should be uh, uh, incurred immediately without wasting any time so that uh, that fellow has done. Then he should be immediately, uh, the legal action should be uh, taken immediately. And not only that, reputation of our uh, country and uh, justice to that women, these are all involved in. Fingers are now being raised on the efficacy of the newly formed Vasundhara Raje government in curbing crimes against women. A matter of national concern is yet again taking a political twist. But will action be taken to prevent such incidents in the future? Or will such issues continue to just provide fodder for political mudslinging? A new Snan report. And moving on, practically everyone is on social media. The frenzy is such that even pets have a Facebook account. But there is someone who took really long to make an appearance in social media circles. Take a look as to who it is. Want to talk to the CIA? Well, tweet your way to the agency. Though you might have seen their Twitter handle before, it was officially taken over by the Central Intelligence Agency on Friday at 1.45pm to be precise. And here's the first tweet of the agency. We can neither confirm nor deny that this is our first tweet. Well, it's nice to know that the CIA has a sense of humour. Their first tweet tickled the funny bone of many other intelligence agencies present on Twitter. One of them tweeted, Welcome to Twitter. Can't wait to work with you on Redacted. Not just then, there were many others who immediately followed the agency on Twitter and they already were sharing personal jokes using code words like Redacted. Though they made a fashionably late entry into the world of social media, they started trending the very moment they made an appearance. The first tweet was retweeted 70,000 times and the Twitter handle gained 85,200 followers instantly. But well, making a debut on social media wasn't so easy for the intelligence agency. According to reports, the Twitter handle CIA was being handled by someone else and the CIA got control of it after it filed an impersonation suit with Twitter. Now CIA's digital presence will augur well for the agency to provide speedy information and engage more directly with the people on its missions and other developments.
However, as we expect, the amount of information dispensed on social media will be highly filtered and the intelligence employees need to seek authorization before giving any information to the media. It won't really be top secret files that will be shared. So if you want to talk to the CIA, just log on to Twitter. A News 9 report. And well, Shoaib Akhtar has always been a sensational figure, be it on the field or off it. Even after years of his retirement, he continues to grab attention. This time it happens to be with his marriage. Here's a report. On the cricket field, he has been a terror to batsmen. Short ball, quick ball, might be out, is out. Shoaib Akhtar has come back into the attack. The first ball that Tendulkar's face when he's got a runner. Off it too, he has been quite a sensational figure. For the media, he has never failed to provide fodder. And now, he has done it once again. Sources suggested that the former Pakistani pacer was marrying a girl by name Rubab, who is almost half his age. But once the news flooded the media, Shoaib was quick to rebut it. He tweeted his displeasure over media reports. Wishes are always welcome, but not for some crap rumour. My journalist friends, I expect sensible reporting and not just rumour spreading. Thanks. Well, now that it has come straight from the horse's mouth, the case rests. A News Nan report.